That's the bacon I got from the Bacon Ends package. That's some um, pork loin I pounded and I'm going to make into, oh, what's it called? Schnitzel. And then that's the bacon fat, the lard candy, the lard crisp. <laughs> and that's how much fat was from all that bacon. And 84 in here. So what do I choose to do? Cook some stuff. I meant to do it yesterday, but I didn't get to do it. Mm, mm, mm. Carcinogenic candy. Fried to a crisp bacon fat. Mmm. <laughs> Can't imagine why I'm so fat. It's so good. Oh my god. Yeah, doesn't help the blood pressure, but it's so good. Mm. Yesterday it was a hundred degrees and the day before it was a hundred degrees. I didn't do much but lay around the morning yesterday and then the afternoon I discovered there was no internet. I don't know the reason but there was no internet. Couldn't look up stuff on my phone, couldn't watch TV, it's hooked up to a dongle thing for the internet. I don't have a big old antenna. I don't even know. I checked the TV and it says there's no stations available. We're in between like some mountainous type ranges, so I don't know. <sighs> anyway, Scott called this morning. I'm making pancakes. I made a bunch of pancakes, a bunch of bacon. I'm going to make schnitzel for uh, dinner. It's not even noon yet. I'm going to make some put some in the freezer and put one in the fridge for a couple days from now. And I'll alternate that with uh, Chinese food that I'll be making stir fry. But uh, yeah. Whew. Scott called me and he said there this is his moving weekend. Now Marley has is it four sisters or three sisters? I don't remember. I think she has three sisters. Allison, who's due to have her baby today, <laughs> and her significant other, which they're not in the mood to, or in the mind frame or anything to help move. Then there's Allison, who will be watching all the children. Then there's Haley, who will be helping them. I think Haley is the youngest. She's a little tiny thing. She's small. And she looks like her mom. She's cutie. She's a cutie. And uh, she's single presently. She was in a relationship, but no longer. She's up for anything. I mean, she'll. She's. They're, those girls, they go whole hog. When they do something, they, they do 100%. <laughs> Skiing, or swimming, or diving, or good God, they're busy, active people. But that's Canada for you, hey? <laughs> and. Uh, so it's just going to be, and and uh, her father and stepmother, the stepmom's mother just passed away. So they're dealing with the funeral and the relatives in town and all that. So there's only Haley that's going to help them. Today they're moving like essentials, hopefully like the beds and things like that. You know, cooking stuff in beds. So they'll be in the house tonight. I said, do you have air conditioning? And he says. Strangers should say that. These duplexes here were built without air conditioning, but last year the person put in central air for this half of the house brand new. I said, oh, that's good. He goes, yeah, due to climate change, it's really warm this year. And warm in Canada can be anything from 70 to 75 degrees and up. I mean, he's been out in the snow in his underwear, so... Good for him. <laughs> but he sent me a picture yesterday. They were painting Felix's room a green, like this green, in this room here. Can you see it? Anyway. And then the th their bedroom's blue, deep blue. And then the third room, they have like flooring and stuff stacked up in there. 
temporarily. And the register's off the floor. And he sent me this. Um, I'm walking to my room. <laughs> Welcome to my room. What do you think of your green room, Fifi? Um, it's good. And there's their room. When he gets silly, he calls everyone poopy head. There's a, the registers off the floor vent. Who broke this room? <laughs> I could teleport up there and help them. Be cooler. <laughs> At least it's not incredibly humid like it would be in St. Louis or even in Georgia. Oh la la. I'm glad I am not in that. I'm so glad I'm not there anymore. You know, the only thing I miss are connections, you know, like theater and all my acquaintances and friends. We're theater related. Here I have nothing and nobody. Gotta make your own thing, I suppose. You gotta do your own thing and make yourself your own way. It's plus in that department, you know, because it's a fresh start. But it's not easy, it's slow going, and things are difficult in this country lately. We've been through two whole years at least if not more of COVID and uh, quarantining and people that are ignorant and dividing the country even more you have people that are commonsensical and then you've got wingdings on both sides I don't know what's wrong well you know people hey it started getting that way oh gosh uh, 20 years ago? Sort of. I mean, you can't blame it on one president or the other. Although there is one that sticks out in my mind that escalated some of this. But, you know, people are always... My mom and dad voted... My dad voted Republican and my mom voted Democrat. And my mom used to joke that they canceled each other out. I didn't vote this time. Because I just overwhelmed with life, what, whether it's my age or what, I don't know. I don't know. So yesterday, no internet all day. Can't, couldn't look up anything on my phone. I started playing word search puzzle on my phone, and then when I was going to look up anagram help, that's an internet thing. I couldn't look that up. I mean, I guess I could have made my phone a hotspot or something. But it wasn't that important to me. I mean, you know, I've lived without cell phones even, you know. I've lived without color TV. I've lived without remote controls. I've lived without air conditioning. But I grew up in Iowa where you didn't need it that often. And we had great big shade trees and windows on every wall. So you good cross ventilation and everything else. Things aren't like that anymore. There's a lot of office buildings that have windows that don't open. They're just windows. So if you're, your HVAC system, I don't really know what that stands for, but it's like the air conditioning heating system goes down, you got a lot of people that are going to be miserable. Yeah. Anyway, different people's areas right along this maiden road here have been turned off for a day. I'm lucky ours went back, our electricity Friday went back on at 4.30 something. There's someone that lives across the street in an older community, 55 plus community. They're tra to me they're trailers, but they're like mobile homes, okay? But um, 
and their electricity was off for 12 hours. Now, you would think those people would be really trying to get the electric back on because some of those people probably have, you know, health related things where they absolutely need whatever they have, you know. But, wow, you know, I couldn't just turn the TV on or anything. It's hooked up to some kind of dongle. It doesn't get reception for TV stations here because we're in between, like, mountain ranges or something. I'd need an antenna. I might just go look at them uh, to, to get one and then hook the radio up to it. I have a little mm, CD player radio. So I listened to some CDs for a while while I was doing some cleaning up. And then I thought, I can watch movies. I have all those DVDs that Brian said weren't necessary to bring. Well, I watched Si Può Fare, which is an Italian movie. Uh, kind of a, a true-to-life movie where they had this, this place where uh, troubled people, like troubled by... Uh, autism or certain things, certain traits, psychological traits or whatever. And the, the Claudio Bisio was the uh, the teacher, the the caregiver. And he found that these people had own, their own certain strengths. And they only did basically one thing really well. So he got them all together and they started a um, parquet flooring company. And basically, uh, a lot of communities have adapted this type of thing where they take people that are special like that and they let them work and they give them money and, and instead of, they're useful in society, which is really good. And then I watched The 39 Steps, an Alfred Hitchcock movie, the old one. And then I watched um, Rango. It used to be my brother's, but when the house was empty, I saw it, and I thought, well, I've never seen it, so I took it. Eh. I, I didn't care for it. I might get, give it away or see if they want it for um, Spencer. Eh. Eh. <laughs> then I had several popsicles. Because <laughs> I was so hot. I've got... Popsicle sticks all over the place. <laughs> I was thinking of making like a little flag. You know, like a red one, a white one, a red one, a white one, and then something in the corner, blue, maybe a bottle cap or something. Like a little flag. You know, you can, you know, kids are hot, feed them popsicles, use the sticks to decorate and make things from something simple to something complicated. Anyway, uh, I didn't vlog or do anything yesterday. It was I did as little as possible and I did some sewing, hand sewing, and I washed some clothes and had them hanging. So oh, I did chores. What else is there to do today is make some food for later in the week. So I don't have to worry about it because it's going to still be hot. That way I can try to keep it cool in here. I am going to investigate some more on a supplementary air conditioner. I'm at the end of the air conditioning line. The bedroom gets some kind of something coming through it. But that vent up there, where is it? Uh, somewhere up there. I've been up there. It does not. It doesn't go through to anywhere. It's just <laughs> ornamental. Uh, so I was thinking really hard, and that's why you smell rubber burning. <laughs> I could get one of three things. A window air conditioner, which would be kind of hard to put in the window. I I know you have to brace them from the outside and everything else and then I have to since it's a sliding left and right sliding window I would have to get some type of fill in for the rest of the window uh, and I'd have to take that outside screen off 
Then, or I could get one of those rolling around kind that you attach the hose to a thing on the window. Uh, that you can move from one room to another or whatever. Or, the most expensive, but the most uh, utilitarian? I don't know. The words are falling all over each other. Is a mini split. That's some kind of a doodad that looks like a looks like a cooler on its side, sorta. It's kind of oblong and and white, and it has like little louvers on the bottom, and it goes about ten inches down from the ceiling. You know, ten inches like here. I could put it on that side of the window, which would be more beneficial, but you'd have to run a longer electric and copper line. No, the copper line would still be the same. You'd have to run a longer, a longer electric to the, um, the electric box, which is on that side of the house. Not that far, like 16 feet, but... Besides, if I ever hang artwork or anything over there, I don't want it being blown on by a heater or an air conditioner. H, the mini split is heater and air conditioner. So in the, when it does get cold in here, I don't have to use my floor. The, uh, well, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's there. What a mess. I mean, in the winter, you can always put clothes on, but sometimes it does get pretty chilly in here. Pretty cold. It has gotten down to snowing temperatures. But in the summer, this room used to be part of a garage, so... It gets pretty warm. It gets pretty hot, especially if I cook <laughs> anything. But uh, I'm really, you know, basically I'm very happy with my life here. I don't fit in personality-wise with a lot of people in California, but one good thing is they are a little bit more lenient for oddball people. <laughs> I will have to film some more jokes and I'll have to film my character things. I don't know if I'll get around to that this afternoon. I do have some skits written. I just have to go through the trouble putting on the makeup, getting things set up, and all that good stuff. And well, yeah, it'll be nice taking a shower after that. I mean, some people. I, I do what I need to do. I open the windows if it's cool enough at night and have the fans going. And then when it, the sun comes up, I close everything up and put the curtains out and everything. It's going to be a tough one. Babysit baby all day. Tuesday morning, I go into the dentist. And I guess this temporary comes off and the real crown goes on. He wants to do some other stuff that I don't want to do. So I'm going to have to have my arguing skills built up. Tuesday afternoon, evening. Is there something? Something tells me there's, some, there's something, but I don't know. I don't think so. And Wednesday I watch Baby, and Thursday I watch Baby. Oof. Well, I best be getting back to what I'm supposed to be doing. Upward and onward.